I'm calling upon all people from all corners of Africa for your support for the healing wound of lost culture. I'm calling upon all the youth of nowadays, of 20th century, to like our Facebook page because this is all about us. Who does not know what happened in the past? Who does not know how our parents left before? The very important thing is that we shouldn't forget is where we came from, is who we are, and what we should be, and how we should be to that perspective. Thank you very much. I would like to say welcome to South Africa, a very beautiful land with beautiful landscape, a very beautiful developed country with multiculture. South Africa is very rich in all cultural, almost from many corners of African countries. So now we are here. Uh, this this time so that we could talk about our cultures we want to broadcast about our traditions we want to talk about the importance of our cultures we want to unite Africa Africa one Bandu speaking people we want the dream of Africa to come through. This is what we want. I'm looking forward so we can look into the aspect of the bridge. A bridge of indigenous community, still living in traditional, and a bridge of modern community. So, we should be a bridge, our culture should be a bridge. For, for one reason, for African emancipation. That is 
what we should look at and that is what we should focus on African emancipation. Africa needs us. We need to unite all the African culture. We are going to have an idea. Our idea is to host a cultural festival day, like a tourism expo day, but also um, international and also lo local and also international. So we are going to look above teaching our own people what they have lost. We are about to unite Africa. And this is a dream of Kwame Kuluma, Muammar Gaddafi, Bob Mali, Lucky Tupe, and many, many others. There are so a lot to mention at this point of time. And let us not remember, uh, let us not, we must also not forget Julius Malema when he have interfered in one of the big cases when was a traditional, uh, when somebody was wearing traditional and somewhere in some of the complex he was also chased out. So the EFF as um, a political party have interfered in that case, which was very good. So we should care for one another and we should love one another as Africans. And we are going to look forward meeting those uh, political leaders and also NGOs uh, for the support. My name is um, Rimuni Kabi Chipurwa. I'm uh, a Herero by a tribe. One of the decent group known as Himba, but originated from the Herero route. And uh, I live in the northwest of Namibia. Uh, in the area called Kunene region, but uh, Kaukoland. I'm living in Kaukoland, but from, from the region known as Kunene region. So Kunene share the border between Namibia and Angola. So we share the border. So from where I live, it's about 140 kilometers to the border. And I run an organization called Ovahimba Living Museum. So by whereby people come there and have cultural experience. During COVID, um, we have um, got support from friends, uh, uh, local friends, and also international. I remember I had one guy from South Africa also coming to visit us, and our traditional to him was very quite interesting. And uh, I'm very, very happy, looking forward for everyone to know, to learn, to know full traditional, to know who they are, where they come from, and what they should do. So my traditional, I'm, as I said, I'm from the northwest of Kaukoland, where people are still living in a traditional before anything existed, before the inventions of uh, Western, or modern traditional. We are still keeping our traditional alive. Whereby my cultures and my tribe, we wear skin. And then we have something we call it red okra, which is, which is okra. So that is a red paint, uh, which is digged out of the ground as coming in the form of a stone. And then we smash and crush that stone so it becomes powder. Mostly it's being done by the women. And then um, we mix with traditional butter and then they apply on the body. So it's a protection against the sun, protections uh, also to keep the skin very smooth. So, and then as we still use uh, traditional uh, medicines, we still practice also with traditional, uh, with also perfume, natural perfume, coming from different trees, like tree bark, tree roots, like grass, with kind of nice essence of smell. So this is uh, what we are, and we are known as Himba community. We eat uh, a lot of food. Our food that we eat, we eat, um, mostly we eat meat, 
we drink milk, we grow, um, we grow corns, we grow um, vegetables. So from vegetables, uh, we also grow uh, green spinach. So we, we completely eat uh, nice and uh, fresh food that we grow ourselves in, in, in that part of Namibia. Africa with Africans, very rich continent in everything above all. And culture is one of our main focus as well in Africa, as we really do not want to leave our root where we come from. I want to bring it to the attention of my colleagues that we are going to focus more our beautiful hairstyles. You know what it means? hairstyle in general you know when ladies do, did not do their hair they don't go to a party so hair has very strong meaning and hairstyle has lots of um, secret meanings to each and every person in life whether it's to a female or whether it is to a male to every man hairstyle have lots of meaning